going on YouTube, Boss Jacoby here, back again with another video. Uh, you won't see any competitive gaming uh, videos in this one, uh, but I am here to show or explain to you guys how to record your voice and your teammates' voices and the gameplay all into one file. If you've tried doing this before, a lot of times you're left with three things. You're left with the video, the video's audio, and then your own your own voice because you're going to record it externally with you know any mic or any other third party program and this makes you have to sync up all three perfectly and it's just much difficult or it's just much harder excuse me um, than doing it this way so this works for Mac guys if I find a way to work this on PC or if you guys know how to please leave a comment down below I'd love to learn how and uh, I'd love to share it with more of you so Anyways, the programs that you're going to need will be in the description box below as well as some of the hardware. For this video, I will be using Adobe Premiere as my main video editing software, Wiretap Anywhere as an audio software, QuickTime Player is just a screen record, and then I have um, Soundflower as well, and then I Soundflower excuse me, is like an audio program as well, and I'll explain that in a second, and then ITV is what I use to record the PVR. So let's get started. You want to first open up Wiretap Anywhere, and again, a link to all this stuff will be in the description box below. You're going to hit this plus sign right here, and you can name it whatever you want, but for me, I like to name it something along the lines of Live Callouts, um, or excuse me, actually what I like to do is Live Callouts, and then like Snowball. So I know that it's not just you know their callouts, it's my voice as well. So for this, you're going to go to the settings, and go to the sources and you see that you have all application audio and uh, LC snowball on the right so you're gonna go ahead and hit clear wires or excuse me reset wires and then add a source you're gonna wanna add um, your your own microphone so for me it's gonna be my blue snowball for you it could be like a built-in microphone like right here or anything along those lines but this is what I'm using and once that's ready then you're gonna delete the all application audio now you can you can use it that way but what that requires you to do is that makes you um, have to play the audio out loud. So you're going to have to hear everything that's going on on your computer. And if you're running maybe iTunes, it'll pick up that audio as well. And the way I'll show you will eliminate that. So you have your Blue Snowball. And basically right now, all that, all that this program will record is your Blue Snowball mic. So you want to add another source and go down to Soundflower 16 channel. And this is essentially just a program um, that combines a whole bunch of audio sources and puts them into one, kind of like Wiretap Anywhere. Um, but I don't know, I like to combine them this way. It's really, really easy. And the way that you want to make this work is you have to go into ITV. And on the top, you can't see it, but on the top, you're going to go to Audio and then Audio Output and make sure that's on Soundflower 16 channel. When that's done, go back to Wiretap Anywhere and you should be okay. You want to select the mixing levels and just turn Soundflower just a bit down because otherwise you you won't really be able to hear your own mic. Once you do that, you hit save and you're good to go in this program. So you can go ahead and minimize that. Now the way that you do this all in one program um, is a little bit I wouldn't say tedious, but I thought of a good way and I think that you know I, I think it can get easier over time. So. Since I'm not online right now, if you guys have ever used ITV, you'll see that this is like the live, um, the live footage thing. I'm gonna use a recorded NCAA uh, gameplay here, and it's just like a quick play or whatever. Um, but I want to show you guys what's up. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna need to, and it's gonna be hard to explain since I'm recording my uh, my screen right now. But you want to go to uh, QuickTime Player again. This is free, totally free. It's downloaded on your computer. Go to QuickTime Player, go to File, and then you'll see New Screen Recording. When you do that, guys, and, and I'm sorry I can't show you exactly what to do because I'm actually screen recording right now, and it won't let me stop it, and it's just confusing. So um, basically, you're going to want to hit that button, the new the new screen recording button, and then you're going to want to um, just put a box around the video right here. So don't get this bar, um, and don't get anything else. Just you, you'll, you'll be able to see. It's really, really simple. Just drag it from here down to the bottom right and if you have any extra areas you can just adjust it then it's really simple guys you shouldn't have any problem with that so uh, moving on what you're gonna wanna do now is because you're gonna be live recording uh, you're gonna start recording um, everything and before you actually do record it you need to hit this drop down arrow make sure that your mic is selected or actually excuse me let me let me take that back for a second hit this drop down arrow and make sure wiretap LC-snowball is recorded or is selected. 
The only reason I have it as Blue Snowball right now is because I'm obviously not recording um, live callouts. I'm just recording my my own voice right now, and that's why I have it set like that. So. Once selected at Wiretab LC Snowball, you want to make sure the quality is on high, you can save it to wherever you want, and you just go ahead and hit record. Now basically what this is going to do is this is going to record, screen record rather, whatever's happening right here on, on, uh, on your uh, computer monitor, as well as your own voice coming through the blue snowball or whatever microphone you choose, and the application audio of just this program. So it's going to combine your teammates callouts, your callouts, and the video all into one file very very perfectly for you and that's what I have here for you so this is one of my screen recordings that I did just a little bit ago and as you can tell I imported it here into Premiere and you don't want to upload it straight because you can you can uh, make it quite a bit smaller uh, so you'll see I have it right here it's really really simple guys it's just about 30 seconds and here I, I guess I can show you my render settings and I believe Premiere is for PC as well so if you're with PC you'll still learn something in this video so essentially you just want to drag it here, keep everything the same, and go to File, Export, Media, or just Command M or Control M on PC. And I don't know exactly what you need to change because my stuff is already pre-saved. Um, but I have it at H264, Preset Custom, that'll just change. Um, output Name, I guess I could put it at, um, I, I, yeah, Tutorial is fine, I guess. Um, we'll just name it Tutorial 2. Export video, export audio. Um, for video, you need it 1280 by 720, 59.94. Widescreen main 3.2. Um, bit rate. Now, this is what I like to mess with. You'll see right here estimated file size. If I put it up here, it's going to get huge. If I put it down here, it's going to get small. But of course, this is going to correspond with the quality. So I like to keep it anywhere around 4 to 5, depending on how long the video is. If it's a 10 minute video, I might drop it down to like 4.15. If it's a you know super short video like here, and I want the quality to be upped a bit, I might you know put it up a little bit because 27 megabytes is still extremely small. And this is how I like to do it. And once you do that, you're just gonna I'd, I'd put about 4.4 because it, it, the quality doesn't need to be perfect. Hit export, and uh, you'll see that it's gonna export. It only takes me about 50 seconds for a really short video like this. For about a 10 minute video, it only doesn't it doesn't take too much longer, about five to six minutes. Um, but anyways. Once this is done, you're just going to upload that file to YouTube, and in the description box below, or actually after this video, in fact, I'm going to play you guys a quality test, and you'll be able to see that it'll have my voice synced up with the gameplay. Um, everything that you want will be perfect, and uh, yep. Yeah. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Share it with anyone that you want, Any, anyone that you, know, you might think will benefit from, uh, from watching this video, and I will talk to you later. See ya. This is Boss Jacoby here. Inside testing this out. Let's see if it works. And they've got all their DBs QB in over there center. Up against the five wide he hikes set. and snap is jumped. He's looking for a circle. He gets circle Great across the middle. Only three with 149, there, 148, nice 147, 146, 145. To keep him from going 44, 143, 142, 141. Hike. Nope, 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 nope. Hike. Look at that. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line.